What's up everybody, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. Well guys, we're now in the month of February, so that means we're doing our monthly Feeding All My Geckos video. So sit back, grab some popcorn or some Jiminy's if you're a gecko and enjoy the show. I won't blab too much, but I'd like to let you all know if you're new here, my name is Dion, as I said before, I make videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of really neat invertebrates. So if that's something you're interested in, I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. So definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging the notification bell afterwards so that you don't miss any of those uploads. Looking forward to seeing you. All right guys, so for today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you you, if you could own any gecko in the world, any species, you name it, no financial burden, what would you choose and why? Let me know in the comment section down below and as always, I'll give your comment a heart and we'll engage in a little bit of a conversation. All right, let's get right into it. So this is pretty exciting. This is the first feeding of Tiki in his new enclosure. And if you haven't seen that update, you can check out the video just up above here in the corner where we set up this whole new enclosure for Tiki. And yeah, he's been really happy. It's funny because it doesn't take us back to square one per se, but he's sort of shy again and getting used to interacting the same way with me that he used to in the old enclosure in this enclosure. So it's kind of cool. You guys will get to see how he behaves and sort of feels less comfortable just jumping on different pieces of cork to get to the superworms we're about to feed him. Let's see how he does. All right, so we got some superworms. I actually just gut loaded these. And we have rubber tip tongs. Tiki. Oh, I just dropped that one. That's why I don't like the rubber tip tongs, guys. They're so annoying. Yeah, I'm not getting that. I have no idea where that went. Maybe he'll find it or it'll end up popping up in a few months as a beetle cruising around the tank. It's usually what happens. Tiki, you want a super warm, buddy? Yeah. Come on out, little man. Tiki, come on, come on, buddy. Come on, don't be shy. Yeah. Look at him, everyone. He's looking so good. What a happy boy. It's taking quite a bit of time for him to be out in the open. But the first thing I did notice about Tiki being in this enclosure is that he's recently started Come on, over here, get it here. Come on, buddy. How about here? Good boy, Teeks. Yeah, he's a chonker now, look at him. Those are my fingers, don't go for those. Those are my fingers. <laughs> yeah, he's a real good boy. I think he actually found that other one. What a guy. <laughs> good boy. Good job, man. All right, you go do your thing, mister. Can't wait to introduce the female to him for you guys in a video soon. All right, everyone. We are now going to feed the Toke twins. Hello, friend. How you doing? What I got for you? Go for it. Oh. The Toki Twins are doing fantastic, guys. Not that I speak Gecko, I don't think they're too troubled by Tiki leaving. I, it's funny, I feel if anything, they're more bold than before, which is great to see. Um, they just, there's less competition. As much as they, <laughs> as much as they got along great with their dad, it's just one less Gecko that they have to worry about competing for food. This is always what makes me feel bad about these nighttime feedings. Sappy comes out and she's like, I hate you. Why are you not giving me some superworms too? 
Girl, do you know what time it is? Go to bed. Go to bed, you cute little lady. Now, you're not supposed to be awake. But then again, it is my fault because I'm shining a big light on you. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. Go to sleep. You're going to be fine. I know. She's like, I know what you're doing. And you can't do it while I'm asleep. Oh, she's so cute. Sappy. Sappy, you're okay. Watch out, she's gonna come over to this side because she thinks that if we move away, she's probably gonna come this way. I know, Sappy. <laughs> Poor girl. Oh, man, I feel so bad for her. All right, I think that's enough Toke Twin action for one day. Sappy is still incredibly unimpressed with the fact that we're doing this feeding at night. I'm sorry, girl, I'm sorry. Go back to sleep. All right, guys, so here is the first satanically filled gecko we're gonna feed. This is a lovely female. Oh, okay. Well, that worked pretty well. Oh, wow. Really getting that one. Oh, bye bye, Jiminy. She's so pretty. Look at that. All right, well, I'll drop a few crickets in and then we'll feed the next one. All right, guys, here's our next leaf tail gecko. I sort of forgot to mention that I'm not going to be feeding all the leaf tails in this video just because a bunch of them are pretty shy. So I kind of picked a few of the ones that I know will generally eat in the open. And uh, yeah, those are the ones we're feeding in this video, if that makes sense. Oh. Yeah, 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 come on. Oh, you better come. You better come, it's over here. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Well done. All right, everyone, next up we have one of my favorite male Fantasticus. Gently try to coax him out. Being a bit of a shy guy. That is, oh. Okay, well that worked. That guy's nuts. He looks so cool. Amazing. All right guys, so one of the first things you're gonna notice with this beautiful leaf pattern female is that we have an infertile egg on the bottom of the enclosure. So that's a great sign. This girl has started ovulating. Hopefully we can get them into their redone enclosures as soon as possible. They'll be set up properly to start breeding if they want to. But it's wonderful to see that she's thriving and ovulating and all that fun stuff. All right, let's see if this leafy girl would like a gut-loaded cricket. Madam, I have a cricket for you. Oh yeah, you want that, holy. Oh, nice. All right, girl. Next is one of my favorite males I own. He's definitely gonna come out and eat. I think you would. Well, that's surprising. This guy not wanting to eat. What is happening? What if I drop the cricket in? Let me drop a few in and see what he does. Oh, did he get one? He got one. All right, let's put this little monkey back. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and make some Pangea for the baby lychees and Jabba and Leela. I've been switching all my breeding New Caledonian geckos onto this formula. It's just formulated with a lot more protein, all the right minerals and vitamins balanced for animals that are breeding, producing eggs, etc. So we're gonna be giving them that.
Alright everyone, so now we're going to take a look at the baby lychees. They've grown a little bit, which is awesome, and I'm going to be rehousing them into the next size tub very soon because, as you can see from here, they're getting a bit bigger. Hello little baby. Look at that little chubster. Little finger gecko. Just wanted to show you. Getting nice and plump and some really cool pattern developing on them too. All right, I'm gonna put that big carton back that serves as some surface area to climb on and shelter. Uh, and there's just a bit of fake plants here. Can I put in there for extra cover? I'll let the baby go in. And then their diet. And I'm happy that they're both eating a lot more regularly now, which is great. All right. Here is the second baby lychee. And this one never was a fussy eater. So you'll see right away that it's bigger than his sibling. Um, and this is the one I'm leaning towards keeping. But for now, we're just gonna hold on to both of them. Yeah, take a look at this one. Again, some really cool pattern developing on that one as well. And uh, yeah, they're doing fantastic. Put the food inside. You gonna sell my finger? You definitely need a new enclosure now. I just find this is a great way to get them started. They find their food super easily. I do the same for baby crested geckos until they're about a month or two old. All right guys, so we have diet here for Jabba and Mila. Let's go ahead and offer that to them and see if they'll eat. All right friends, so this is where I keep my new Caledonian geckos. We'll get to Pingu and Nona after if you haven't met them already. Uh, but here's Jabba and Lila's enclosure. And no, I'm not about to lie to you guys. It isn't always this clean. I literally just did a cleaning for them. So if you keep lychees, you know how messy these animals can be. They were just out here. Oh, there's Jabba. Hey, buddy. No? All right. Oh, and there's Leela. I guess that's a prime example of uh, how well their camouflage works. Right, I'm gonna put one dish of food over here, a little bit in the dark, and put it back here where someone is bound to come to it. All right guys, so although Jabba and Leela are clearly being super shy and annoying and they don't wanna come out, I see you there. It's kinda of cool to have this plant here because then they can hide behind something that's not in the, in the enclosure. It gives them a sense of security. There's Leela, just so you can at least see them. These dishes will be empty in the morning. Anyways, we can at least take a look at my Crested Geckos, who everybody really loves, and I appreciate that. I was just seeing that Jenna Craig has a few dead leaves I can pull off here. So guys, this enclosure here houses one of my female Crested Geckos. Her name is Pingu. She's a lily white crested gecko. Um, if you wanna see a video of me setting up this enclosure, there's a link up above. And following that, there's a link to another video where I added all these jungle vines to take advantage of the empty space and give her more climbing options. All right, I'm gonna gently come from the side. I just decided to come up behind her so she doesn't move to the back of the enclosure. But yeah, let's get a closer look at her. Here's Pingu. Hi, girl. She's like, I'm going back home. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting I do a video on taming crested geckos. I've been sort of planning that video and I hope I'll be able to produce that for you guys soon. I'm just gonna be moving Pingu to my desk so we can feed her. All right guys, so here's Pingu on the desk. We're gonna see if she'd like to eat a super worm. Usually she enjoys these. So I just have a nice small one picked out for her. Here you go, Pingu. Oh, it's getting away. Let's try that again. Do you want that? Get it. Nice. So everyone, as you can see, a crusty gecko is fully capable of chewing and swallowing a super worm. No, that is not going to chew out of her body or I don't know what else you guys are thinking. She's chewing it well. So yeah, I just really wanted to take advantage of that opportunity to show you that they're completely safe for adult geckos to enjoy or even juveniles if they're the appropriate size. Oops. 
Alright, seems like Pingu's done. Let's go. Come on. Alright girl, home sweet home. Go for it. There you go. Alright, so next we have Nona, who is just in the back over there. So let's see if we can get her out now and do some feeding with her. Nona! Hello! How's it going? Alright girl, you wanna come to the table? Okay guys, so Nona wasn't particularly keen on having insects, so I figured I'd make her some diet so that we can at least feed her. Nona, would you like some of this? I think you would. Here. Mmm, is that good? Is that tasty? There we go. Good girl. Yeah, she's a little cutie, isn't she? Come on, have some more. Have some more. Mmm. All right, Nona, should we bring you back to your home? Yeah, let's take you back. So I'm thinking what we'll do is uh, put her food dish inside the enclosure so she can eat it overnight in peace. Spot like that, it's wedged in safely. Then we can just bring Nona back. There she goes. Perfect. Well guys, look at that. Looks like we just fed all the geckos. Well, not all the leaf tail geckos, but you know what I'm saying. There, you gotta see a baby leechy eat. I see watch one eat. Sorry buddy, do your thing. Well guys, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's video. As you can see, I was up very late filming this video. Nonetheless, I think it was worth it. If you'd like to see more feeding gecko videos, there's a playlist up above I'm gonna place here where you can watch a bunch more cool videos just like this one. And yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl for those of you that are gonna be watching it. I don't follow football, but I'm gonna be watching it for the weekend's performance because I'm a big fan, so. Alright guys, as always, I look forward to seeing you all in another video again soon, and uh, yeah, see you on Tuesday. Take care. Bye.